What is up? All right, listen. This is going to be a very good video about why you need to eat healthy. When you eat junk food, your body doesn't know when it's full. Your body can consume a lot more french fries, hamburgers, potato chips than it can vegetables and salads. Test it out. Try to fill yourself up eating a salad. You're not going to eat a lot. You're not going to eat a lot of broccoli. You're not going to eat a lot of cucumbers. You're not going to eat a lot of tomatoes. Try to fill yourself up with vegetables and a salad versus trying to make yourself full and fill yourself up on junk food like french fries, potato chips, and a hamburger. Your body can just keep eating junk food because that's how processed food is designed. Processed food is designed for us to keep eating and it has empty nutrients. So your body doesn't know when it's full. That's why it can keep eating junk food. Your body can keep eating junk food because it cannot identify when it is full. That's why you can eat a lot of french fries and a lot of pizza versus eating a lot of cucumbers. You can't eat a lot of cucumbers. Your body, it's, man, people don't know how to drive. Your body cannot eat a lot of cucumbers. It'll just identify and recognize that it is full. That it, it's full. So it's gonna stop, right? All right, but when it comes to eating junk food, like a pizza, man, your body, because it doesn't know what the heck it's eating, because of all the salt, all the sugar, it's just accustomed to wanting more of the sugar, of the salt, and so it recognizes that there's no nutrients in this food, so it's just gonna keep on eating. You're not going to get full. That's why if you look at food eating contest, that's why it's always junk food because you can eat a lot of junk food because it has empty nutrients. And so you can watch someone eat a lot of junk food because the body doesn't feel full. But if you had an eating contest with cucumbers or spinach, you're not gonna see people devour a lot of spinach because the body recognizes the nutrients and it says the body's gonna tell your brain, hey, we're full because we already have the nutrients we need. But if it's junk food, the body, the body's not going to identify those nutrients and it's gonna to wanna to keep eating and eating until it says, oh, okay, we're full. You know what, here's another test. Go ahead and try this out. Do this at home. Do this at home. You'll have no problem understanding what I'm saying. All right. Let's say, and the guy back of me is tailgating and I'm already going to speed limit. Jeez. Okay, so let's say you make dinner and let's say it's healthy food. Let's say you make dinner and you're eating kale, spinach, cucumber, um, yams, potatoes, healthy, healthy food. Fill yourself up. Fill yourself up with healthy food. If you fill yourself up with healthy food and then you feel full, go to a fast food restaurant after dinner, right after dinner, right? Right when you say you're full from eating all that healthy food, go to a fast food restaurant, your pick. Go to McDonald's, In-N-Out, Domino's, Pizza Hut, Chuck E. Cheese. Go anywhere where they serve uh, heavy, heavy processed food, all right? You'll be able to eat it. You will be able to eat the junk food even though you just left your house eating the healthy food. The reason you can eat the junk food is because of the way it tastes. Because your body recognizes the salt, the sugar, the processed, and it says, okay, we can keep eating all of this. Your body treats processed food differently than it treats 
healthy food, all right? So someone messaged me and they asked me, um, can you get fat from, can you get fat from eating healthy food, right? It's harder to get fat from eating healthier food because your body will get full quickly. If you're just eating yams, broccoli, kale, uh, spinach, cucumbers, salmon um, all the time, your body's gonna recognize that it's full. So your body's going to want to stop eating. Versus the junk food, the pizza, the hamburger, the fries, your body's not going to recognize when it's full because your body can keep consuming, your body wants to keep consuming salt. Because there was a time when salt was hard to get, was hard to come by, salt, the sugars. And so our body is designed to think that that is still, it's a still limited amount out there, that it's not in abundance. So our body wants salt because there was a time when it wasn't around, but now it's everywhere. So our bodies have evolved through through the ages, right? Million, evolution, just millions and millions of years, right? From our ancestors when salt wasn't around. Now salt is everywhere, but our our taste buds have not adapted to the last 100 years of agriculture. So we have to eat healthy. We have to eat healthy. The way the food the way the food is being processed, the way the food is being marketed towards us, it's not fair because they're they're attacking our our most primal urges, our just the primal just our most basic instinct of what to eat is being exploited. So we have to understand that we can eat endless amounts of junk food and if we do that, we're going to be obese. We're going to gain weight. We're going to be fat. We have to understand that our, our bodies have a hard time feeling full from eating junk food. And that's why we can keep eating. Man, try eating french fries. French fries is a great example because of what they have done to the potato. You can eat a lot more french fries than you can a regular potato, right? And so that's why you can get fat off of eating french fries because your body doesn't know when it's full but if you just took a potato and you steamed it your body's gonna feel full after one potato and then you're not going to overeat we overeat because our body doesn't know when it's full that's why we, that's why we overeat so understand understand how food affects our body. Understand when you feel full and understand what you need to eat in order to feel full. You have to eat healthy, organic food that's from this earth, not food that is processed. We can eat endless amounts of processed food. All right, I talked a lot. If you made it nine minutes into the video, if you made it nine minutes into the video, if you're watching, if you're watching and you made it this far, I want to say something that can change your life. I know I say eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well, because what you eat is how you fill your body and how you sleep is how you recharge your battery. I know I say that, but I want to let you know something else. One way, one thing that you can do that can really affect how you live, that can really affect your lifestyle, that can affect how you think, is just move a little bit more, man. Just move a little bit more. Exercise a little bit more. Pick up yoga, pick up stretching, pick up walking, pick up cycling, pick up swimming, pick up some kind of extra activity that will make you move more. Walking, just walk a little bit more. All right, if you're watching and you subscribed, I want you to know something. You are inside a 2001 S80 Volvo and I'm thinking about upgrading to a Tundra. Once I park, I'm gonna turn this off because I have to have two hands on the wheel when I drive. Two hands on the wheel when I drive. All right, I love you guys. I love you guys.
And you ha if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.